I was 33 years old, and at that time, I had been married for about seven years. At some point, I realized that in our relationship, my husband and I had become more like relatives than husband and wife. Initially, sex had become routine, and then it vanished altogether. A month, two, three, six months passed. I couldn't understand why we had been without intimate relations for so long, so I decided to talk to my husband. Did you expect passion after so many years of marriage? That's not how it works. Ask your friends, I'm sure they're no better off, my husband dismissed me, but I didn't give up. Despite having two children, I tried to arrange romantic evenings, candlelit dinners, trips to concerts. I even attempted to persuade him to go to a countryside hotel to rekindle the passion. My husband saw all my efforts and unintentionally let slip if you really want to, I'm not against it. But there's a condition, I must never find out. One day, my friend invited us to a party, but my husband, as usual, declined. He fairly bluntly told me, you want to have fun, so go ahead, I'll stay with the kids. At the party, I met an interesting man who caught my eye. We struck up a conversation, and I realized I was intrigued by him. He turned out to be married, and for me, interacting with married men was taboo. But we were enjoying each other's company that evening. We both understood that the passion had long faded in our respective families. After the party, we shared a kiss, and then a fervent exchange of messages began. He was an intelligent and creative individual, and I could say I experienced orgasms just from our messages alone. Shortly after, real orgasms followed. We began secretly meeting. Our affair lasted around five to six months. During this time, I felt desired, self-assured, and vibrant again. I started exercising, lost weight, and was filled with inner energy. In my family life, I also felt much better. Nevertheless, I made the decision to end the affair for several reasons. Firstly, that initial passion had faded. Secondly, I was constantly plagued by guilt, both towards my husband and towards my lover's wife. I believed I had no right to betray another woman like that. I accidentally saw her photo on social media through